Welcome back to the shop. My name's Jamie. And today I'm going to show you how, for the first time, although it's sort of the second time, I've attempted brazing. And here are the results of that uh, first time project. But before I take you there, let's take a quick look at what didn't work. So what you're looking at here is an attempted braze repair using map gas. Uh, map gas is hotter than propane, but not hot enough to prep the cast iron to receive the, uh, the brass brazing rod. And what you're looking at is essentially cold brazing, uh, very similar to soldering. If you do a cold solder, it just doesn't stick. Um, these braze collections of brass that you're looking at here, this mess that you're looking at, basically just popped off with a screwdriver. Since the map gas didn't work, I had to level up and go for the full-blown oxyacetylene torch setup. Hey, what shop is not better off for having, you know, high-powered cutting torch at its at your disposal? So I, I used that. Now, the reason for the project is I have this uh, Lewis Shaper, uh, which is a pretty neat rig, um, but it does have a broken pulley. And it's got some chips taken out of it, and I wanted to uh, try my hand at brazing to see if I could repair the veins on this. So the video we're going to watch here is uh, the highlights of the brazing for the, this rightmost uh, vein. I've already heated the metal up, and um, over, in total it took me about eight minutes to do just this one little part on the vein. I had a lot of trouble getting the braze to not fall off the side. Um, it was very hard to kind of stack it up in such a narrow spot. Um, I had trouble with the flame, couldn't get it to stay consistent. Um, it was too hot. And, you know, I got through it. And for the first time, I learned a ton. Uh, but I am really looking for feedback um, if folks have any comments or suggestions. But the net takeaway for me is that the job wasn't perfect. So you can see that second vein in uh, was a little bit shallow, and you can see that in the final pictures. Uh, but this is a very doable project. Um, I mean, you, did, you do need to have the oxyacetylene torch. Um, that's an expensive, um, you know, setup cost, but I know that I'll use it for other things. Um, but even as somebody that hasn't done it before, it's doable. Um, I know that my second attempt here will be, you know, twice as good as this one, and then, you know, hopefully uh, just continue to get better with practice. But a important part of this process is that you let the cast iron cool down slowly so I've wrapped it in this blanket it's a fiberglass welding blanket and I let it uh, sit overnight before I started to work on uh, machining the braze down 
I picked up some expanding mandrels on Amazon. It was about $100 for the set. And these things have, these worked out really, really nicely. I was able to slide that uh, pulley on there, just kind of tap it down on the bench, get it nice and snug, and it held the workpiece perfectly for this whole project. Um, I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in looking at something like that. Uh, they ranged in size from half an inch up to an inch, so it was a pretty nice set. Overall, for this project, I'd give myself a passing grade, you know, maybe a C minus. Uh, the middle vein was a little shallow. It's got a bit of a divot in it. Um, and the, the front vein, kind of the smallest radius, that one came out the best. And the, the vein in the back uh, was smaller, but it was slightly underneath the circumference um, in, the, in the vein. But... Now, all in all, I'm happy with the results. Uh, gives it a little bit of character. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Consider subscribing. 
and uh, give me a thumbs up if this was entertaining for you. Take care. See you next time.